called South Broad Street and you make that right on South Street before you get to my brother's place which is part of Miss Sensor's project which is also a, a program that Miss Sensor's project has. Uh, you'll see on the right side this particular building. Yeah. And when you look in the window, you'll actually see this this uh, bar right here where they serve foods and stuff like that. So the guy, he asked me to do the picture for him and I did it for him, but you know, uh, he never showed back up at his, his, his business and everything. So I don't know if they closed. But like I said, like, you know, me being out here, me experience the things that I experienced, even, um, you know, during the time of my transition and going into the residential program, I still had to have a way of feeling like, you know, um, I have a sense of purpose and that I will have to be like, um, just sitting around waiting for things to, to come to me. I had to still go out there and get it because, you know, like there's some programs where people feel like, okay, you know, um, this is it. This is like, you know, I don't have no other yeah. thing going for me, but I'm not like that. So. But like I said, like, you know, I just, while well, I've been there, you know, I participate in the program. But sister, they got some good programs depending on like, you know, the staff. You know, a lot of the staff there, there's some young staff there, but a lot of the staff there, they actually, uh, they're, they're, they don't, they, they're kind of difficult to like, you know, to speak to about certain days because they might not experience it. Like, you know, um, some of them may have be college students or whatever like that, so. But anyway, this is this is actually what I do. Uh, like I said, during the day, I go out there and, um, you know, I started off with, you know, every sign. Because I seen a guy out there, he had a cardboard box and he's just like, you know, just hold the sign and everything like that. And I'm like, you know, I, I just can't go to people and have them, you know, just look at me like, you know, like I'm, I'm without and I need, I need what they have and stuff like that, you know. So I wanted to show them I got a sense of purpose. So, like I said, I make prints and everything like that. Um, and that's also a way for me to show a sentence. So, you know, um, that also shows me a way, you know, shows that I have a sentence because, like, you know, out here, there's a lot of helpful people here in the city. You know, this is the city of brotherly love. Um, but, um, you know, if people see you trying to do something, you know, there's a lot of people out there that'll help you. So what I would do is, I will hold this sign, I will hold a specific sign, and I will have a message on it. The message wouldn't be like, you know, pertaining to a question, it'd be more of a statement. And, you know, um, some people, they just pick up on seeing whether or not, you know, you're out there and you need something. So every little dollar that people started giving me out there, like just seeing me sit out there because I wasn't stable, I would just take that, go to the art supply store. Although I never went to school for it, I just put an effort into like, you know, staying focused and just try, try to draw up something that I perceive. So I would get the board and I would draw these pictures. But then I started noticing people offering me money for like the pictures that I draw. So I said, well, dang, if I keep sell, if I sell the picture that I draw, number one, it's straight out of my, it's straight out of my head. It's my idea. Once I sell that, once I sell that, that specific picture is gone. Like that original idea is gone. So that means, number one, I'm going to have to draw the picture over again and that same picture is not going to be like the picture I drew previously, so it's really not going to be original. Uh, oh. Number two, um, you know, I felt like if I just make like a print of the original, I can keep my original and that is secure my future. That way I will never have to be back in this situation again. So now I just start selling the prints 
and everything like that. But then there's personal people, like I said, personal people that come and they ask me, you know, to do projects like, you know, I said before, they bring their personal pictures and stuff like that. And, or they bring their ideas, they write down their ideas. And I get the canvas and I draw them up. And, you know, in that way it works out, you know. People bring me a picture of their families and stuff. So I do make a way for me to generate income. Not everybody is able to, you know, buy the pictures because they have an impression that, okay, yeah, this guy, he's out here. He got, he got like this artwork. And, you know, I, I know it's worth more than what I can give him. So I'm gonna still give him a little bit. And that's how I get the extra money without selling, you know, my artwork or making the print. Now, some people out there, 